after reading about the menopause and the effect it can have on some people, I didn't want anyone to be um, suffering silently. I'd heard about it and thought, I need to go to this. <laughs> I feel that the people are, they don't judge, so you know, anything goes. It's just that small space to have once a month to offload to like-minded women who are going through the same thing, who can totally understand. I'm not alone and I'm not going mad. <laughs> I set the menopause group, we, which we aptly named the Hot Flush group, up with Barbara Murray over a few conversations we had about how difficult um, our symptoms were to manage. There was little things being said amongst staff that they were struggling to. I didn't feel I could sort of share with some of my friends because they're younger and not necessarily feeling the same sort of thing. Yeah, it's kind of given me a voice. A lot of symptoms that I get doesn't, doesn't quite make sense to me, so it's quite good to be able to hear what other people are going through and know that you're not alone. I suffered um, quite bad hot flushes um, and lack of sleep um, and lack of sleep is torturous as anyone knows um, and would get quite tearful because I felt like I couldn't cope. I don't feel like I'm going mad anymore because there's things that other people might have brought up that I was experiencing but just sort of put it down to other things you know. especially enjoyed the mindfulness thing because uh, I find it really hard to like switch off at work so you know to have some time out step out and to do that is actually really good. Whereas one time I'd be quite closed about it and just kind of suffer in silence I really feel quite confident now of coming out and saying you know I'm, men I'm a menopausal woman I've got these symptoms going on. Some of the ladies that come share really difficult things with us. I always feel really privileged to be part of a group that someone feels okay to let their guard down. Um, so yeah, I feel really proud of it.